I feel like I might be the highest person on this pickup. Kelly Oubre Jr. has agreed to a one-year deal with the Philadelphia 76ers. I like this move a lot, and I don't know why it's not being talked about enough. He's got to average 20 points per game last year. Now, it was in a limited rotation, and also at the very same time, he only played a handful of games, and it was a losing team. But Kelly Oubre can ball, so let's not disc- discredit what he's done throughout the duration of his career. This 76ers team that is a little bit of a crazy train wreck right now, we're talking about all kinds of stuff with trade, James Harden trade dilemma and, and all this different stuff happening right now, and, and the rumors that are coming out from other people about the MB potential stuff down the road, who knows if that's accurate or not. They get a guy right now in Kelly Oubre Jr. who can step right up on in there and be a starting player potentially for them, if not a bench key. Like He could be the sixth man for this team because if you have Harden, then you have obviously Harden, Tyrese, Tobias, P.J. Tucker and Joel Embiid there. You get Kelly Oubre some scoring off the bench, and he's a huge upgrade. I mean, your other guys in the rotation right now is Daniel House. Uh, didn't really play much last year. Not that high on him. DeAnthony Melton, I like him. He can be in the rotation still as well. Birkin Korkmaz, like there's not much depth there at the wing, so he gets to step right in, and you get him on a minimum contract. This was a guy that I thought could be a huge signing and a guy that I thought would be going for much more than a minimum contract. We've seen both Christian Wood and Kelly Oubre go. I'm not as surprised about the Christian Wood thing, but I am shocked that Kelly Oubre is coming off on a minimum contract on a one-year deal going to the 76ers. So I'm actually very, very high on this. Now, we have got to see what the heck unfolds here with the Philadelphia 76ers because, quite frankly, I don't know what is going to happen with this roster. The James Harden situation is wild. Who knows if he's going to play? We heard rumors about all these guys. Almost everyone on that team has heard their name being brought up in trades, except for Tyrese Max. He's the only guy I feel like they've said they're not going to trade and has not had a him even come out and say he wants to be traded. Everyone else is just like, I don't know what's going on. Now, Embiid, like I said, it's not him coming out directly, I guess. He did have that one little talk he mentioned earlier about the winning situation a couple of months back. But overall, I think Kelly Oubre Jr. is a huge signing. If this team can get everyone to come back, and they are fine, and they don't have all these different issues in this locker room, Kelly Oubre Jr. could be a huge signing for this roster, especially the minimum contract. That's a huge bargain contract for them, and and that would be absolutely huge for the 76ers team. (laughs) 